Come on. this offer got a contract for me I do if you're willing to partner with me usually work alone could pay to make an exception this time it's not every day you get a chance to work with the most renowned bounty hunter north of the Yaruga Jenga Fred himself I'll bite what's the famous Jenga Fred need a witcher for I'm guessing you're a man of the world perhaps you've come across the Grossbart brothers in your travels you hunting them Aye, quite the rogues they are. Three of them, and everyone's got a pack of rapes and murders under his belt. Even took to grave robbing lately. Easy to recognize on account of the yellow caps they wear. Folks see three yellow tops, they flee to their huts. Which don't help much, of course, because they're also fond of arson. No, haven't met him. If you do, tread careful. They're quick to stick a knife in a man's gut. Often just by way of greeting. Doubt they'd try that with a witcher. You never know with that lot. Right. Well, I head south soon. Haven't looked there yet. Fare you well. You might meet again someday. Gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. 
griffin this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest to the mountain shore, but here, near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves at White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. Witches. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Huh. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it. And I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. 
The what now? In that chair. Katvin, we shave the gentleman sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. Nice village. Aye. A real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied, all oh, fathers, sons, daughters and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't you treat this evil light.
The powers that protect me, they sense whence you come. Who are you? Peter Galanchir, and I'm a senior level designer at CD Projekt Red. The Witcher Wild Hunt is an open world fantasy game where you take the role of a witcher, a professional monster slayer. Geralt's mission is to find the Child of Prophecy, a weapon that can save or destroy this world. It's an adventure of epic proportions. We'll give you a little taste of it in the form of a side quest. Let's head to a nearby village and earn some money. A magic spell creates an area that slows time for our enemies. One of the many tricks you can learn when you level up your character. You're not gonna have your day ruined by a couple of wolves. You going north, master? Why do you ask? I thought you could see if anything's happened to our men. They've been gone a while. What do you need? Merchant caravan came through not long past. Hired some of our boys to guide him to the bridge. They were due back yesterday. Fine. Keep my eyes open. My brother Tomil led him. Talk to him when you find them. Clever man. Not like the rest of them, eh? It seems that this caravan never reached the village. Let's get on a horse and look for it. Go, go. When you're outside, you can always whistle to call a horse. It's one of the faster ways to traverse the massive landscape of the Witcher Wild Hunt. No Man's Land, the huge area around us, has a multitude of interesting places and events that you can stumble upon during your travels. A Witcher is equipped with a variety of mutations. The Witcher senses come very useful when tracking down your target. Someone walked through the spilled wine. Kedwani. Smell will linger for hours. The Witcher senses allow you to follow the most subtle of tracks, invisible for the mortal eye. Tracks lead to the cave. Caught one just before you reached the cave. So in the dark, thought at first it was a lizard coming. Thing that attacked. How big was it? Well, too big to squeeze in here. It were huge. And those teeth, ugh, we barely escaped. Wonder if it killed the traders. Poor son's sure at it coming. Important thing now's to get out of here. Will ye help, Master Witcher? 
Need to tend to the monster. Doubt I'll have to look far. Wyverns like to herd their prey towards their nests. We'll wait here. Wouldn't want to get in your way. Royal Wyvern. Lucky me. Apparently we are facing a hefty challenge. Let's look for the monster's nest. The Wyvern is a formidable enemy. Definitely stronger than wolves. Preparing for the upcoming battle is key to our success. For this particular fight, it seems like a smart move to apply an oil that enhances your damage of your sword of choice. There's got to be a big bounty for this. Witcher has to be careful when fighting a big monster. Simple mistakes can cost you a lot of health. What now, you piece of filth? Keep your distance and look out for special attacks. Magic spells have a cooldown that prevents you from using them all the time. Level them up for more power and shorter cooldowns. Sometimes monsters have special attacks like the acidic spit of the royal wyvern. Mashing buttons will rarely breathe victory. Fortunately, you have many skills and expert moves up your sleeve. It's feasted plenty, I reckon. Attacking those traveling the road. What do they call ye, master? Geralt of Rivia. Geralt of Rivia. It'll be a tale to tell the young'uns. Never forget to take your trophy when you defeat a monster of this size. At this point, you could head for the village for reward, but let's just take a quick moment to appreciate the scenery. There's a vast open world for you to explore. The Northern Kingdoms offer over a hundred hours of pure adventure. Go, go! Get ready to enter the world of the Witcher, Wild Hunt. I'm a level designer at CD Projekt Red, and I would like to welcome you to an excellent gameplay presentation we have for you today. I really hope you enjoy what we have in store for you. Have fun. Many of you might already be familiar with this guy. He's Geralt of Rivia, our main protagonist. He's a witcher, one of a dying caste, a professional monster slayer. He's back from a hunt, carrying a mighty trophy on his saddle. You might have seen the fight with the griffin. This is a direct follow-up to that adventure. At this point, players are several hours into the game, so they should be familiar with how the game handles. We are near the city of Novigrad, the biggest city in the world of the Witcher. We are currently en route to a meeting with Dijkstra. He is the former head of Redanian intelligence, now a spy, and a very powerful mobster.
several thousands of inhabitants. Houses made of brick, paved city streets, warehouses, all the desirable guilds and artisans, banks, the breathtaking temple isle, inns, brothels, and the biggest seaport in the north. This is Novigrad. It's a living, breathing ecosystem of thousands inhabiting its corners. Everyone in the city, all thugs, beggars, lords and peasants have their day and night activities and pastimes. They make all of Novigrad's four districts unique, characteristic places, worlds within a world to explore. Take the fish market on the other side of the canal, for instance. You can of course buy fish there, but if you meet the right people and pay the right price, you can get some nice and juicy contraband weapons, armor and ingredients to your concoctions. This place is ripe with quests to embark upon. Be careful though, pick one and another may perish. Your choices will heavily affect how other adventures in the city are born or die. If this presentation were about discovering all of the cloak and dagger gameplay, we'd be sitting here for quite a while. So instead, let's press on and try not to hit the pedestrians on the way. Let's play Foot and the Witch. Yeah! She can be the witch! I don't want to be a witch! <laughs> We're getting closer to the place where we can talk to Dijkstra. He's the one who ordered the griffin to be slain. We have done our part of the deal. Now it's his turn to provide us with some information. <laughs> Greetings, Dijkstra. How's your health? You're late. Fulfilling my end of the bargain. Brought you the head, just like you wanted. It's hooked to my saddle. Somebody should get it. Hmm. I've fulfilled my end as well. Dug up that bloody information you wanted. What have you learned? Your ashen-haired lass with the scar on her cheek. She's presumably in Velen. Was seen there in the company of a creature that goes by the name of Johnny. Don't laugh, but to believe the witness's tale, this being looks a bit like a child and lives in some burrow in the woods. Probably a bucker or a Luton. But she's in Velen. Damn it. Geralt, is she who I think she is? Thanks, Dijkstra. That was coin well spent. Nice talking to you. The time I was on my way. Dijkstra tells us that the person we are looking for is deep south in Velen, nowadays only going by the name of No Man's Land. She was last seen there with Johnny, a peculiar creature living in the woods. It's quite far away, so we'll use fast travel to get there. We'll visit one of the signposts we can use to get to our destination on the outskirts of the city. Everything you see, every village, tower or point of interest can be explored in the game. There are no invisible walls to limit your adventure. Fast travel is available to locations you've already unlocked by visiting them, and luckily a spot close to where we want to get has already been made available to us by our preceding adventures. Traveling to our destination on horseback would have taken us at least 15 to 20 minutes at full gallop. We're quite far from where we are heading now. Alright, we have arrived in the heart of no man's land. It's a war-ravaged place where the only law that exists is that the strongest prevail. We are deep in the swamps, in the south of the land, a dark and unforgiving place with a significant chance to stumble upon danger. Let's look around, see what the place has to offer. We'll use our witcher senses to get a better understanding of the surroundings. 
So Dijkstra told us we are looking for a small childlike creature. And those small footprints might very well lead to his hideout. Pretty cozy shelter. The creature Dijkstra mentioned must live here. Seems like we have stumbled upon a peculiar hole in the ground, Johnny's cozy hideout. Let's knock on the door. Johnny? Don't be afraid. So Johnny needs us to help him regain his voice, and since it's information we are looking for, it seems to make sense to help him in his time of woe. He's asking us to follow him, so let's do so. Ah, wildlife. When nearby villages or guards want to dispose of dead bodies, they usually dump them in the swamp. Stay close to me. Some of these bodies come back as the creatures you just saw. They are called drowners. They prey upon travelers and adventurers, much like us. This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? I guess I gotta make this climb. Johnny apparently wants us to scale the mountain, so let's see what awaits us at the top. We'll look for spots that we can climb. There are many, many paths leading to key points in the land, with all sorts of cool stuff to find in every nook and cranny. It's really worth to explore all of them. The mountaintop seems to be riddled by harpies. This is an excellent opportunity to equip Geralt's newest addition to his arsenal, his small crossbow, Gabriel. It comes with fully customizable ammunition, just don't forget to keep count. Alright, let's go. minute now to appreciate the view. To give you a rough idea of the size of the land, Novigrad, the city we came from, is 14 times further away than that huge tree in the distance. 
Harpies are known to collect all sorts of shiny valuables, much like crows. They're only slightly bigger and a little bit more annoying. It's advisable to check out their nest for loot. So let's get back to Johnny now. Let's pick a different path because it looks pretty cool. is like licking snails through a clock. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang, so loud it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my mourn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. Maybe whoever lives in those huts will know something. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. All right, Johnny's got his voice back. I'll let you decide whether it's a good thing or not. Most importantly, we're getting closer to finding the ashen-haired girl. Let's see where Johnny's taking us. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, listen, I'm a tail. Yo. Got your voice back. It is. Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me.
Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all, beseech I thee, answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen-haired girls. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon us, white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen-haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger! And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right, on me way. Dagger, gotta bring the dagger. The dagger, for you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is, the dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear. The lovely ladies of the wood have spoken. We better make haste over to the village of Downwarren and speak to the Elderman there about this task that we have been given. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cook them glad him empty, stripped his skin off clean. That's a lot of unattended children. This looks to be one of the orphanages in the land, a direct result of the war ravaging the surrounding areas. The one to fetch the kindlings, they! If you pay attention to the environment, you might often stumble upon useful elements to be used to aid you in combat. Those gas clouds can be ignited using the Igni sign hopefully frying anyone inside the blast radius. But I'm pretty sure we'll use that later.
You've probably noticed the plethora of magic spells we used. They're called signs, and they can come very handy during combat. Let's see what we have at our disposal, bringing up the radial menu. Erdin on the left is used to trap enemies. Quen creates a one-hit shield. Igni is a fire spray sign. Axie can charm them to fight along your side or stun them, and Ard is a powerful air blast. We seem to be getting close to Downwarren. Let's look for the Elderman. Nice village. My, a real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. Recognize this dagger? My master. I didn't know you belonged to them. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied, all oh, fathers, sons, daughters and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. Be careful, Master Witcher. Don't you treat this evil light. The Elderman needs our help at the Whispering Hillock before the witches will help us with our task at hand. There's evil afoot, so let's make haste. These parts of the swamps might seem to be a peaceful part, but you should never let your guard down. It's not a safe place to travel. Ah, more wildlife. The thing we killed is called a water hag. Nasty thing, dwells in wet places, does not like fire at all. Alright, we seem to be getting closer to the whispering hillock. We should probably use our Witcher senses here again. We could stumble upon some clues helping us getting to the bottom of the situation. Claw marks. Wolves. I should look around.
This is the screen you'll probably spend most of your gameplay time on. This is where you equip all the armors, weapons and useful items you acquire throughout your adventures. This is the character screen. Most importantly, we'll set the best weapons for each of Geralt's two signature swords. A steel sword, most effective against human opponents, and a silver sword, a lethal tool against monsters and beasts. The powers that protect me, they sense whence you come. Who are you? We definitely seem to be on the right track. The werewolf was not the source of evil the elder man was talking about. Let's continue scouting the area and let's check out this cave opening. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. The main path seems to be obstructed by some roots and they seem to be immune to Igni. So let's look for an alternate path. We mentioned that there are many ways to explore the world of the Witcher. And diving is now one of these. We seem to have stumbled upon a hidden path. Let's see where it takes us. many points in the game where you can affect the course of events. You might choose to investigate what the tree spirit wishes us to help with. Or we can fight it and see the witch's desires through. If you ask me, the tree spirit looks very untrustworthy. I'd rather see it burn. I don't believe you, spirit. Too many claim you're evil. Your words alone, not enough. Dare me? And against you will rise all the powers of nature. Is the fruit of our efforts. Let's tell the Elderman that we got rid of the evil that was haunting the Whispering Hillock.
solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. There's payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? Why do you cut off your ear? Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. Weapon, young man. He's even lovelier in real life. Mm. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. <laughs> you were to bring it, not to ogle it. as a rail, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. She burned me? Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We knew someone special was to arrive. We read beast entrails, saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness. Once we were many, now we are few. Hunters, killers of the world's filth, witchers, the ultimate killing machines. Among us, a legend, the one they call Geralt of Rivia, the White Wolf. We meet again, Witcher. Your Imperial Majesty. She's returned, Geralt. After all these years. Are you sure it's her? Yes. And she's in danger. Witnesses claim the Wild Hunt follows her. You must find her. And when I do, what then? I shall give her what she deserves. White 
Choice will lead to a greater evil. 